squad. What's the song that the baby like to say? It's morning. No, it's not it's morning. Good morning. We're going to have a great day. Good morning. I don't know the words until I hear the song. Ain't that crazy? But it's Gracie's Corners, um, the good morning song. So, anyway, what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. It's too early to be screaming. It's like six in the morning. Anyway, I had to run to um, Lisa's uh, doctor to pick up some stuff for her. To prep her for her, her, you know, to get ready for so she can get back on her feet. So, anyway... I had to do that. Now I gotta go pick up Charles because, excuse me, he got bronchitis and um, they want to do chest x rays. So I need to go pick him up, take him to his appointment. Then I guess I'll be watching the baby afterwards. So that's my day, my morning and day today. But what I'm here for is because I want to know while I'm driving, this is called car vent. Not the vent, but you know the vent. I'm a vent, and I want y'all, I want y'all, um, I want y'all input on this car vent, car chit chat, car whatever you want to call it, whatever I decide to put on the thumbnail title, however. But anyway, I need a thumbnail. I don't know. So I don't know. Anyway, so my thing is, I watch a lot of. YouTube, and I tell y'all this all the time because Lisa don't watch YouTube like that. She's on TikTok a lot. Majority time is on TikTok. I did Facebook. I did some Instagram. But the most most things she watches TikTok. She she watch YouTube unless I send her something or somebody else send her something. But anyway, I don't know why she be dissing up I mean YouTube like that. But anyway, let me get to where I'm, I'm here for though. My question is, do anybody, in the comment down below, do anybody, oh, he ran the light, does anybody watches any of the sectors, like the B sector, the Mo sector, the Black sector, and all the other sectors that's out there? Anybody watch that? Down in the comment down below. I know some of you guys do because I see y'all in there. Sometimes I say something, and majority of the time I don't say nothing, but sometimes I come out the pocket and say good morning throw some coffee and a flower a heart or something that's what I normally do I don't know how I'm going to get through the day y'all I don't know but my thing is my question is do you watch those and do you believe in the stuff that's going on half of it it seems like it's true because the way it's going when you put other you know when you put um, the law enforcement involved in it which I talked about the other day if you haven't seen that video look at that video I talked about the law enforcement what that was called but my thing is even they got guys involved in it and it's weird to watch this stuff or listen most time it's in my ear while I'm cleaning up or doing something because it get me back versus calling somebody that's actually too busy to talk and all you're doing is all the talking. And they just doing the listening. And they not responding back to you. So it's best to go listen to something on YouTube or wherever you find it. But it's a lot going on out there. And I'm putting my little input in here on this side because I see a lot of people. Um, not a lot. I see a couple individuals don't put their full how they used to be involved into this, these sectors like that because they don't want to get back in trouble again which I get that. Shoot, some people don't understand the lesson learned. Some people just go back, do the same thing and be back in the situation they was in before which I don't understand that either. You should, once, you, once you've been sat down for a minute you should, you should marinate in your head that you don't want to go back but there are people that still doing the same thing go him them right back to the last resort, you know, what happened the last time. But, meantime, you got people, how can you do this? Alright, two guys, especially men, 
how can you be friends with another friend? Not even friends, but like YouTube friends. I don't know the outside, but as far as YouTube, how can y'all be talking to one another? Y'all, y'all smash the same homie and <laughs> same girl. I don't understand that. How can they be collabing and interviewing one another? And they was with the same girl. And I thought about it because it's this girl that's on Facebook. They slowly making their way to YouTube. I saw it the other day. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to help them out and do an interview with them. But it's gonna be weird because me and her smashed the same homie, you know. <laughs> but it was years, you know, it was years apart, but not like these two guys, it was like he was dating her. And then next thing you know, they not dating no more. And boom, he dating her. Now, I don't know if this individual been watching them and trying to prove a point. Because sometimes dudes feel like they got to prove a point to get something and show that they can do do better with the individual you let go. You know, and, and, and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. In that scenario, it didn't work. So now these same two guys... He dated her less than a month. Felt like watching YouTube. We don't never know the real time, but in my mind, it was less than a month or a month that he was dating her. He left and they broke up, and then he just walked in. Now they ain't been dating long, and then they broke up. But these two guys are now collabing on YouTube and um, um, doing interviews. It's just weird. How can they do that? If you was in that situation, can you do that? Can you? actually like literally sit there and then you got okay so the first dude that she, are we gonna say dude one and dude two dude one is the first dude okay so how to do one talking to dude two about the homie right which is the girl so dude one calling the homie all kind of bitches and she this and stanky this and dirty this and you do number two. You just got out the relationship. But you're not. You're not uh, talking about the homie like that dude. Know him. So how can you sit up there? Unless you. I don't know. Or you feel the same way. But but then it, both, it makes both of them look stupid if he does. But dude number two not. He's actually not even um, talking about the homie like that. Not one. Just. More like, I feel like he's being careful what he's saying. Why this car just gonna stop the light green? He's being careful of what to say and how to say because he might really still love her, you know, love her. He might still like her and he don't wanna, you know, mess up something he might give back, which homie not getting back because homie said, dude number two don't know basically what they want in life. They, um, not a, they, they don't strive you know to do better and then I think he got a lot of sickness going on with him so I don't know it's just a lot it's better than it's so far y'all it's better than the young and the restless uh, bold and the beautiful it's like I feel like if I was a film director I would call them up that whole section right there because I think that would that would I have millions of people watching that so, somebody need to write a book. <laughs> Homie, she need to write a book. If she write a book, people would buy that. That'd be the best seller of the year, trust me. Because there's a lot going on there. Then you got the outsiders, the ones like me doing commentary on this. How, does, how do you say that word? Tobacco? Not tobacco. I can't even think of the word. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Oh, sheesh. There's a lot of people doing um, commentary on this whole mess, but um, and everybody see it differently. Everybody see it a certain way. It's just, I feel like all of that is unnecessary, you know. Some of that stuff that's going on, you know, is unnecessary. Like, like dude number one, all that he's saying and all that he, you know, you got to realize you was with him. How you going to call somebody names? And, and, and stinky and dirty and this and that and you was with him with her. So
yourself. How, how do you do that? You making yourself look crazy because if you was with her, what that say about you? You know, how you pick somebody and you want to cut off, man, that's a big house. I didn't know that was back then. Y'all, you know when the trees, the leaves fall, you see all kinds of stuff. Um, but how do you call somebody all these names and talk about them when the simple fact that you was with them? Do that make you dirty? Stay here, all them names. Do that make you all of that? So, that's been going on on these streets with do one and do two. And you know, I don't even know. I don't even know how they. How, I don't know. As far as that, I just I just watch, pay attention, see what's gonna happen next. But let's go back to let's go to the um, the homie. Man, so the homie went on a cruise with another homie, two females. Homie one is the one we've been talking about. Homie two, she, um, you know, they went on a cruise not too long ago. And, you know, homie two was out on the cruise doing her thing. You know, her thing, thing. That's what I heard. And um, whatever. But they went to, you know, they went and did things. And they, you know, went hang out at a hotel. And, you know, money was involved. And, you know, it was a whole lot going on there. But what I don't agree with. Because that was months ago they went on a cruise. And you know they part of the um the sector. What I don't agree, should I go ahead? Or should I go pick Charles? I'm back. I had got a call from Brittany and then I ran in food line since I'm out. Because I'm about to be um cooking dinner. Um Thursday's my day, so I figure I get it early. So back to my conversation. But y'all want to know what I'm cooking. I'm doing a meatloaf. I ain't made one of them in so long. And I'm doing a uh, Corn on the cobs with um, mashed potatoes. I couldn't think of nothing, so I was just trying to fly through the store and find something to cook. I knew I wanted to do meatloaf and mashed potatoes and garlic mashed potatoes, not just any mashed potatoes, but the garlic mashed potatoes. And then I didn't know, and I felt like corn on the cob. I don't know. Anyway, that's a lot going on. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So, homie number one did something that i just don't agree with i don't know how she do that that's so wrong i could never do that to nobody because i don't want nobody to do it to me but she the girl she was traveling with on the cruise and they've been talking on youtube and wherever else you know that's like me and my friend all right let's say this let's go like this route me and my best friend vicky that live out here in virginia me and vicky been talking since her son I mean as far as friends since her son was two and um, now he's 21 I think he's 21 shit birthdays be going so fast so that tell you how long we've been friends and I say for instance even though we might have been just friends for like two years or whatever social media or whatever but no that's still a little different I'm trying to figure out who can I say all right, say Leilani. All right, let's go with Leilani because my best friend, we've been knowing each other too. We know a lot. Say me and Leilani been friends through YouTube. We met up, you know, when we did a collab out of state. And all of a sudden, we have a fallout. Now, if we have a fallout or a disagreement or something, we just work it out. We're not going to bring it to the YouTube streets or try to make a democracy out of it or something. You know what I'm saying? But she somehow posts on her on her on her community wall a picture of me having fellatio with somebody how would you feel i know how i feel first i'm gonna hunt you down <laughs> that's kind of messed up so uh homie number one did that to homie number two so now homie one YouTube channel is taken down because of that. But by the time she removed it, everybody saw it. Come on. How you post something like that? I don't care how mad somebody made you. That is a... What was you thinking? I believe you can get locked up behind shit like that. 
that's my belief. I believe that you can. If you know anything about stuff like that, I think you can. See, if Lisa was with me right now, Lisa's sweet because <laughs> it's still early in the morning and I'm about to pick Charles up. Um, how would you feel? I'm going to get Charles' input. I want to know how would he feel if his friend Vince posted yeah. All right, y'all. I'm going to come back with Charles in the car, and then we're going to close this out. This was a quick um, chit-chat. Chit-chats are real quick, not long, drawn out. But give me a second, and Charles will be back in the car. Give me a second. All right, y'all. Y'all say hi to Charles. I already told y'all he, he, he got bronchitis, so we're going <laughs> to. So, anyway. So, I've been watching YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. The beef sector, the black sector, mm -hmm. the most sector. And they, they worse than the stories. But it's better because you get more excitement and you be waiting to see what's going to happen next. So I call homie one. Mm -hmm. It's a, a female. Homie two mm -hmm. is a, it's another female. And then I tell you about the um, dude one and dude two later. Mm -hmm. But we're going to close it with um, the homie. All right. Back to homie one and homie two. So I told him just before I got you, I was going to ask you, how would you feel? So, name somebody that you just met, like, recently, a guy, friend, and let's say y'all hanged out maybe once or twice. Mm -hmm. Name somebody. Mm -hmm. Probably somebody out here. Watch. Go ahead. Probably, I would say probably Jeremiah. That's my bowling teammate. The bowling teammate. All right, see so you and Jeremiah, y'all bowl, y'all, you know, y'all hanged out and mm -hmm. all that. So, y'all got into an argument. And mm -hmm. both of y'all are YouTubers, content creators. Mm -hmm. So since both of y'all are content creators, you know, everybody know y'all hanged out. Y'all tell y'all story. Y'all vlog while y'all was hanging out, blah, blah, blah. Then all of a sudden, there goes um, snowflakes. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> I'm staring at it. All of a sudden, y'all um, had a fallout on YouTube, where y'all blasting each other out, talking about each other, calling each other names, a lot of Then all of a sudden, Jeremiah decides he gonna find a picture of you giving fellatio to another female. Oh, God. Now, the world see it for a second because he leave it up enough time. Mm -hmm. So, People, people can see you or whatever, yeah. right? How would you feel? What would you do? He mm. mm. <laughs> say, mm. Mm. How, first, how would you feel? Number one, I, I would be pissed. I'd be beyond pissed. Like that's like you mean, gotta talk you loud because they always say you talk low. All right, well, I would be pissed. Okay, people. Like there's certain you can say whatever you want. We can go back and forth all day long, but don't put my privacy out there. That's, if it's something that it may be out there, or it was something that happened that's personal, that's personal. Like now you invaded my privacy. Now I got I, I, now I got a serious problem. And so now, and, and at that point, something happened. Yeah, the situation has to be handled. And so, I'm, I'm not talking about talking at that point. Oh, you ain't talking no more. No, we ain't talking no more. It's, it's about to be a hands-on thing. Mm -hmm. So, how would you handle like as far as YouTube? Would you record? Would you handle it? Because now everybody knows who your business is. All you. No, they don't. They don't need. They don't need to know what happened. They just okay. Know the situation going to get handled. That's that's the plain and simple. Uh, they don't need to know anything. It's just they, they don't know here. The situation got handled. Period. So, all right. So now we at this point where his his YouTube channel got taken from him. Okay, because you done reported it to uh, yeah. YouTube what happened and they saw it mm -hmm. and so they took it down. Now, do you take it to the limit since you got all this proof? Do you get them locked up? Do I get them locked up? No, I'm gonna handle it myself. Okay. I don't, the law, no, I don't, the law 
probably gonna look, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna change that because I'm gonna still be pissed at the fact that they ain't get my get get back. So I'm gonna just handle the situation myself. <laughs> Y'all say he don't get back time. Yeah, he don't get back time. You evade privacy. That's like that's 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 just taking it too far. Right. You can go back and forth. You can talk trash. You can say whatever you want about me because I'm gonna do the same thing. But I'm not gonna take it to the point where. I'm invading somebody's privacy. That's like, nah, that's the, that's like, this. that's the most disrespectful thing you do. That's not like, that's not physical. It's just invading somebody's privacy and just putting people's stuff out there. Okay. All right, so that's Charles' input. Like I said, down in the comment down below, let me know how you will handle it. Like I said, this was a, a short chit chat. Car vent, you know, what I watch on YouTube. I'm just waiting to see the outcome. People saying that uh, homie number one might get locked up again. I was like, again, I can't remember the first time I'm going to go back in the uh, archives and see when did they get locked up the first time, but they might get locked up or we don't know. So I just know it's been going, it's been an ongoing thing for the last couple of weeks. So I, I, I might have to get him, he always got me watching Netflix. <laughs> I might have to give him hip to watch what I'm watching. <laughs> Like I was telling him, see, he said, that's what I was saying. I be listening while, you know, it be in my ear, but I be, had his ear open doing other stuff, you know. So, anyway, he said he gonna watch it. Listen, while he at work. You gonna be like that. But I don't know if you can listen, because they do a lot of hollering and screaming. I can, no, I got, I can hear something, I can come down. Yeah, they be hollering and screaming. Everybody this and everybody that. It's crazy, but, um. Charles. Thank y'all for watching. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I see y'all next in the next. Wait a minute, that didn't go right. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell every time we drop a video. You don't want to miss it. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, you see Kool-Aid and Lisa doing a challenge on your head top. Yeah, you know what's happening. You tune in, story times, pranks, and blogging, man. We a great big family, we the bomb squad. We on that grind to a number with a K, best believe you'll stay. You can chill with the fam like most of y'all do. You see Kool-Aid, Lisa, and Nick too. With Charles and Barbie living that YouTube life, we love our fans and support and we a family do. So come on down to Bomb Squad's house. Have a seat watching videos, and nobody likes to hate. Keep it positive and have a nice day. Oh, I forgot. Smash that like button. That like Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad.